Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate basically how important platter alignment is. Um, we've done a video recently that highlights um, moving the platters over to another drive uh, just using very simple um, tools, kind of like a do-it-yourself type deal, which again we don't recommend if you have data that is critically important. But um, a lot of times we'll get people that call us up and they'll say, hey, you know, I had an issue and I just moved my platters over to another drive and um, now my drive still clicks. Well, platter alignment is absolutely crucial. Um, not only uh, is there a horizontal alignment that must be maintained, but also a vertical alignment between each platter surface. The data is actually spread out amongst each platter surface. And you'll probably have, let's say, a, if you had a 10 megabyte file, um, chances are that file is going to be spread out amongst all platter surfaces. Um, the platters can't be read like a CD, the platters can't be removed and read by any machine, not by us, not by anybody. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a quick demonstration here. I'm going to go ahead and power this drive up and just show that it's working. It's a 750 gigabyte hard drive, it's a Seagate 7200.12. Um, so I just powered it up. You see here the drive is ready. I'm going to go through and rescan so that it shows up. And you can see the drive here listed. It'll come up and pop up as being our source drive here in a second. So there's our source drive. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to do a quick, this is a parts drive that we have in, and I'm just going to do a quick image of it just to show that it's actually in operational condition right now. Um, again, this is not a customer drive, obviously. This is just one that we're using as an example. And it'll take it just a second here before it starts to try to image. And there we go. So, drive's chugging along. It's imaging. Good. That's all we needed to see, just that it's working. So, I'll go ahead and power it off. Go ahead and move this here. It just kind of sets our our destination drive back. Select drives. So I have the drive powered off, so now it's not there anymore. Okay, now what I'm going to do is set this up. I've already undone some of the screws and everything else on here. Um, just going to go through and quickly remove the case cover. Obviously we're not in a clean room right now, but it doesn't matter. We're not doing any type of recovery on this. Sorry if my hands are in the way of the camera. Try to keep them out of the way there as much as I can. I'm not even going to disconnect this actually from the imager itself. So this drive actually has I may be able to see that. Let me just zoom in here. It comes in focus. Um, you have a bottom platter and a top platter. And then the heads actually read uh, both platter surfaces. This drive casing can actually hold up to four platters, uh, so the top section in there is blanked out. But um, so you'll have four platter surfaces that can be read uh, in this particular drive. What I'm going to do is go through here and quickly just. Loosen the screws is what I'm going to do. The screws are actually on the hub of the spindle and they retain it kind of like you would a wheel on the hub of your car. And again, sorry my hands in the way. I'm left handed so it's kind of 
I guess one of the downfalls when it comes to videoing this, because it's definitely in the way. I have a separate tool that I usually use for these so I don't have to press down so hard. When I undo the spindle shaft. So basically at this point what we've done is just loosened this part. Now the platters they can probably turn independently if we wanted to. Um, I could go down here and actually just shift this and I guess the thing is is what I want to explain is it's just the tiniest movement if you were to get these out of line, go through now and just tighten it back up. Then once you lose that alignment, it's gone. There's no way you're getting it back. Some folks will try to go through and say, oh well, I'll mark it with a marker. And you know, when you're dealing with data densities as tight as what we have in modern hard drives. And the data density is essentially how much data they're trying to squeeze on every, you know, square centimeter of space within the platter. Then you're also dealing with much tighter clearances. Again, this is completely informal. I almost feel weird opening this up outside of a clean room just because just not the way we do things, but um, try to do this quickly, and we'll see what this shows up. So we have the hub tightened back down. Platter's probably shifted just a little bit, not much at all. I don't even know if the actual platter itself really even rotated much but really I could have probably not even touched it and just releasing the pressure off of the hub would have been enough to just shift the alignment. You only have literally just nanometers of tolerance with these. It's nothing. So whenever you have an issue where the platter becomes out of line, go ahead and power this back up. The platter comes out of alignment then it gets to where it just won't function the way it needs to. Actually, you can hear it clicking. So nothing was done to affect the heads. Nothing was done to do anything with the drive. All we did was essentially loosen up the center hub, barely rotated the platter at all, and that was all it took. And I don't even think the platter actually even moved because whenever I rotated it, there was still enough uh, connection there to where it actually rotated both platters. So, anyway, uh, it doesn't take much to throw the heads out of alignment or throw the platters out of alignment. And once that's done, there's really no way to regain it. Um, it would be extraordinarily expensive um, and highly unlikely that it could be done. So, that's it. Just do not ever remove the platters uh, independently or if you can, if the data is critical, just don't even open the drive. Don't touch it. And a lot of times when drives are dropped and the spindle uh, seizes up, um, sometimes especially with Seagate drives, we'll get a lot of people that call in, like I said, that have removed the platters and at that point there's just nothing that can be done and you can see how it's just such little uh, movement or you know just basically loosening the hub can actually alter the alignment of the platters themselves so thanks for watching if you have any questions about our services uh, you can visit our website at acsdata.com or you can give us a call 1-800-717-8974 thanks for watching